Well, in terms of the biological effects, we uh, were carefully monitoring blood pressure and heart rate. We checked that within two minutes of the injection being completed. Um, and the, the cardiovascular effects, the blood pressure and heart rate effects, those seem to parallel this, the time course of the psychological effects. And it also almost seemed to correlate with the intensity of the psychological effects. Um, so if people had a really pronounced rise in blood pressure, that seemed to indicate that they would also be having a fairly pronounced psychological effect. Um, yeah, it was always a mystery as to what people were, were undergoing. Uh, they would just lie there quietly. Um, they'd take that big breath in, that big breath out, and then they'd just lie stock still. Um, their skin would be clammy, cool and clammy, because of the, uh, st the stimulatory effect of DMT, which was reflected in the, the spike in blood pressure and the, the spike in heart rate, and their skin got cool and clammy as well. Um, but, you know, w w uh, we asked them to lay quiet, to not talk, and they were out of, you know, they really had no awareness of um, their bodies for that first five or ten minutes. So it was a mystery. We just had no idea what was happening. Um, after a while, it started clicking in my mind that the higher the blood pressure response, the higher or the more intense the psychological experience. But, I mean, that wasn't uniform. There would be people with big, big blood pressure responses without much in the way of, of um, psychological or psychedelic effects. Um, yeah, and so the spike in blood pressure and heart rate would be sort of what you'd see after running a 100-yard dash, let's say or running up a couple of flights of stairs. Um, and then the blood pressure uh, and pulse responses would start tapering off at five minutes and 10 minutes and so on. And then by a half hour, their blood pressure and heart rate would be pretty much as they were at baseline. Um, we looked at a, n a number of hormones, their, their level in the blood um, as reflected. Um, we were interested in um, a hormone from the adrenal glands called cortisol, um, so that went up. Um, that's a stress hormone, kind of nonspecific stress hormone. Um, we also looked at um, concentrations of a, drug, of a compound which is called beta endorphin. That's you know, an endorphin that's released uh, by particular parts of the brain. Um, and so that peaked at the two-minute point as well, between two and five minutes generally. Um, we looked at prolactin, which is a pituitary hormone as well, and that's a hormone um, that's not that well understood as to its psychological effects in people. Uh, it's involved in lactation, in you know, in uh, in well, it's it's involved in lactation after childbirth. Prolactin is. Um, it also may be involved in you know sexual function. It may go up with orgasm, for example. Um, we also looked to see if there was any effect on levels of melatonin. Um, and it was interesting, um, of all of the hormones that we measured, which was at least a half a dozen, um, the only one that didn't go up basically through the roof uh, were levels of melatonin. Uh, the pineal gland was unmoved uh, you know, by, our, uh, by our giving people these high doses of DMT. You know, one very interesting hormone that went up is one called vasopressin. And that's a hormone that uh, seems to be involved in, you know, social behavior uh, among mammals. Um, you know, um, like affiliation and uh, long-term bonding uh, between, you know, uh, male and, you know, female members of a species. Uh, it's been studied quite a bit in these animals called voles. Um, and, uh, you know, it was, it was interesting to speculate that one of the... Um, effects of maybe endogenous DMT when it's released in high levels, as I speculate about in the book, um, is that it increases bonding uh, between individuals, perhaps through the ages of vasopressin. Um, yeah, uh, we looked at temperature, uh, and that went up sort of gradually over the space of uh, the hour that, um, that it was being monitored. Um, we looked at growth hormone that rose slowly, continued, you know, going up even by the time we pulled out people's IVs about an hour after the injection. Um, yeah, the pupil diameter went up or increased quite a bit. That peaked at two minutes. 
You know, so um, there were a number of biological parameters that peaked at around the same time course that the psychological effects uh, peaked as well. Uh,